What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're taking a look at our second Defining Moments Elite action figure out of the brand new ringside exclusive WWE Elite Defining Moments 4 pack. And it is this Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak Kid, man. He's looking good. I'm excited for this figure. A lot of people are really excited about the head sculpt, the gear, the entrance gear. There's a lot of good stuff going on with this Shawn Michaels, man. But this figure looks damn good. As I said, it is ringside exclusive. If you guys want to go over to WrestlingFigures.com, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% as always. But on the back you do get a shot of Sean. Now taking a look at the front of the packaging you guys can see Sean Michaels right here in the packaging with the Sean Michaels logo behind and it looks really good. I'm actually really pleased with the with the packaging that we have going on here. And then a shot at the back of the box does have an image of Sean Michaels and then of course the gold foil and everything like that going down. Well it's not really full but you get the point but if you guys want to read the little bio you can read it now. I mean you can pause it now and read it is what I meant. Now on the side you do get an image of Sean WWE logo and then you do have another image of Sean there. Now this is pretty much the exact same packaging we saw in the old Defining Moments before the line discontinued, and it's not as big as it once was. I couldn't find those reference images to plug in here to show you guys. However, it is significantly smaller. I mean, I guess it's not like significantly, but it's definitely noticeable. It's a pretty noticeable difference. I'd say the packaging's like one or two inches shorter, and it's more compact. Like, it's pretty snug right here. You can launch it across the yard. It feels really good. I like the front viewing window. This looks excellent, so I'm excited for it, but as you guys know, it does come in that big old box containing the rest of the figures, and we already took a look at Cody Rhodes so if you guys want to check that out, definitely go do so. But let's shut the hell up, crack the heartbreak kid out of the packaging, and find out what he's all about. So here's the Defining Moments Shawn Michaels figure out of the packaging, man. Really liking what I'm seeing here. I do notice some gripes, though. I do have my own gripes here that we're, of course, going to get into as we get into the figure, break down the accessories, all those different things. This is one of the figures that I was looking forward to because I love Shawn Michaels. I always love adding different Shawn Michaels to the collection. I feel like, you know, the more the merrier with Shawn Michaels. A lot of different gears, a lot of different attires that we could get for him, so I'm always excited to add another one to the collection. Nonetheless, what we're going to do is take a closer look at Shawn Michaels' accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at the Shawn Michaels figure itself and then get into some comparisons and find out what this Shawn Michaels specifically is all about. So for Shawn Michaels accessories, you do get the nice entrance gear, which is like this stretchy material. You guys will see it's like kind of like faux leather, I guess, but uh, maybe the pants aren't as stretchy. They, they, you know, they have a little bit of a stretch, but you guys can see the pattern on there. They're like black with these silver circles with red and blue. I think these are cool for certain styles. You know, I think they work sometimes and sometimes they don't work. In this case, I don't know how I feel about it, you know, especially the entrance jacket or the sleeve deal here. Like this is supposed to go across his back, like his upper back, and then you Velcro it in the front, but, uh, you can't, like, putting his arms down while he's wearing this makes it, like, fold up like a damn lawn chair. It looks weird, man. It's, like, all bunched up, and I guess it's better than rubber, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, I guess I'd rather have this over rubber. It's just, it, it can be a bit finicky. You gotta be careful, like, moving it around and posing it. You guys can see that it is stretchy. Like, it, it's nice, but it's very odd. It's, it, I, I don't even, I feel like I'm dealing with a damn tablecloth or something, but I guess, you know, I, again, I do like it over rubber accessories, I can say, so that gets the job done I guess but there is that we also get his nice cowboy hat in the black color which does fit the head sculpt pretty snug I'd say I think it goes on there well damn gallon jug hat that he's got going here but it looks good and I, I appreciate it and uh, I like the cowboy hat I think it's a nice touch to the HBK figure and then of course we do have our mic holding hands here which are very weird because like the print is like off you guys can see hey, look at that right there the paint apps go over the red and it just kind of messes with it in my opinion it doesn't completely go so that kind of pisses me off. And then the same thing happens on the fisted hands. Like, look how weird the shape is right here. Like, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be red that goes right through there. So I don't I don't know what's going on there or, like, why the shape is that way. Unless I'm tripping, it's supposed to be that way. But even down here, like, look, the paint doesn't go through. So it just looks weird. And then he doesn't have red pegs, so then it throws it off even more. So I don't know. That's just a bit weird to me. Especially with the Defining Moments figure, man. You want that stuff to be down to a T. Alright, man, so getting into the Shawn Michaels, starting out with the head sculpt. I mean, I think this Shawn Shawn Michaels has a likeness. I just don't think it's my favorite head sculpt. I also think that the head sculpt's a bit oversized compared to the rest of the body. And I don't know, it almost looks like this. they just like super glued this hair on here. I, I just don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this guy, at least in the head sculpt department. I think it shares likeness, but it looks like the basic 100 head sculpt with like some random hair thrown on it. Honestly, it kind of looks like a custom head sculpt. I think the greatest hits head sculpt and the WrestleMania 30 elite figure that we saw not too long ago that we just saw re-release in the greatest hits is a better like 
likeness. I think it's a better figure as far as the head sculpt's concerned, but you do get stomach and chest hair, which is good. He's got his tattoo. He's got the weird hand tape because of the hands. Uh, like, I guess it lines up, but it's just weird. I don't know. I, I just don't like it, but love this gear. I think you can make some cool customs and fix-ups with this gear. I wish he had knee pads as well, but I do like the Texas hearts, and they look all cool there. Heartbreak kid there. Looking pretty good. I like everything going on here. The red color's nice. He's got the black kick pads in there, which is, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. I wish they'd give us a new boot mold, but I'm digging the Sean. You know, his figures are poseable and everything like that, but let's take a look at some other Shawn Michaels figures up next to this one. So for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons, guys, here's the defining moments in the middle. You have the ringside exclusive DX, the fan takeover Amazon exclusive Sean Ultimate Edition. You have the first Ultimate Edition. You have the greatest hits figure that I was just talking about in comparison with this one. WrestleMania 33 Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 12, and then you have the new Legends figure back there. And I like all these Shawns, you know, taking a look at the Shawn collection and everything like that. I just don't like, look at the head sculpts. I think this is my least favorite out of all of them. This one's my favorite. I think these are just perfect. I think these look so good, especially the original WrestleMania Elite. I painted the, like, the little things that are on there, like the hair ties. I painted those green and put them on there. Looks phenomenal. I love the way that looks, and then you have the rest here, but, you know, they're not bad. They're just, I, I don't know. I just, I, there's so much here. Like, I, I think the head sculpt could be better, and I think with a better head sculpt, this figure is going to be much, much better, but nonetheless, that is your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Shawn Michaels Defining Moments Elite Figure Review, man. At the end of the day, I like a lot of things going on with this figure, but I also don't like some of the stuff. I don't know how I feel about the entrance gear. Like, we always appreciate cloth entrance gear and stuff like that, and I appreciate the stretchiness of it, and I like it. I'd rather have it, I think I'd rather have it cloth over the rubber or something like that, especially in this case. But it is a bit hindered, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you put it on the figure and you try to put the arms down and stuff like that, it kind of pulls apart the Velcro, but I guess that just comes with the territory. And the head sculpt's definitely too big. I would say the head sculpt's too big. And I'm not the biggest fan of this head sculpt. It's almost like a... They just... Shawn Michaels is one of those guys that they can never completely nail. While he's had some good head sculpts and things like that, I think I am going to get another greatest hit Shawn when those are available if I see him at retail. And I think I'm going to try to do like a hair swap or something like that. Try to get like a hair down head sculpt with that likeness. Because I think the greatest hits... Because I think the greatest hit Shawn has the best head sculpt. I've said that many times. That's my favorite Shawn Michaels head sculpt for, especially from around this time period. I just think it nails it, so we will see about that. But I do like the tights. I think this is cool. I wish it had knee pads, but we're kind of looking at a repaint Sean here with entrance gear. I like the cowboy hat. I think the head is a little bit too big, and I'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt. I think it has some likeness, but it still is missing that uh, that pure Shawn Michaels likeness that I'd like to see out of this head sculpt. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up this Defining Moment Shawn Michaels review, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. Low. I'd also like to see a new boot mold out of the guy. Like, I'm sick of them giving him kick pads, but it's just something that we've come to know with Shawn Michaels figures, so it's, I, I don't know if, how long that's gonna stay for. I'd like to see a new boot mold, though. I think they need to invest in that and, you know, look forward to that, much like a Hulk Hogan or Cody Rhodes weight belt. Nonetheless, man, huge shout-out to our patron army over on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. Always appreciate the patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. We'll never back down. We will not relent.